So I want to warn you guys ahead of time. This is not easy. Nothing worth having and doing is going to be easy. I, I looked at the pot just now when I went to get my uh, tea. Rise and shine. When I went to get my tea, I looked at my red Dutch oven. And why did a picture of Hamburger Helper run through my head? I'm not having any hunger pains. But that's how powerful food is that it can control your life, y'all. It's controlling me right now. And I'm just being honest with it. So if you're feeling that way and you want to go through this journey with me, please, by all means, let me know in the comments. This video is longer than I wanted it to be, only because this is my first video of the 25 days of Christmas. So welcome. This is the first video. I wanted it to show exactly what I was doing, how I was doing it. Now, the, fall, the videos for the rest of the 25 days of Christmas weight loss journey edition will not show every single thing it will just show the workout and maybe me drinking my drinks or whatever um so i hope that you watch the full video let me know in the comments what you think about it and are you going to do it with me all you're doing for this particular uh, detox drink is pineapple cucumber and ginger that's it and once you get it diluted with water so it's not so strong also i am using my breville juicer that i got months ago for me and my husband to start juicing we did it for a while and then we stopped but here we go so you're going to take your cucumber and just you don't even have to dice this up i just did it for video purposes you could just put it in the chute and it will juice that for you. And then also your ginger, it was small, but I still cut it in half because ginger can be very strong. If you wanna use the whole one, you can, you don't have to peel it. The juicer will separate all of that. My pineapples, I have them cut down and we're just gonna add them to the juicer Apart one by one. Luxurious fleet of cars, Ice Cube also spends quite extensively on jewelry. possible once you get it all juiced out this is the limit this is how much you got from it the rest i'm going to add water to it now i've done that i'm going to mix it up and pour it to my jars sometimes i throw my tops away from my pineapple but sometimes i don't so you can take your pineapple chop the top off put it in some water and the roots will grow see the roots right here and then you could just plant it into a pot and you can grow your own pineapples it takes a while um, for the pineapple to grow but this is one way you can do if you want to so i'm just showing you how i do it use a filtered water not tap then i labeled each one 24 hour 48 hours and 72 hours that way i know this is for day one day two and day three drink half of the drink for morning and nighttime the drinks will settle so you have to shake it before you drink it okay good morning good evening good i afternoon, meant to say 12 whatever it is for you in the morning so it is about it should be in the bed actually it's a little later i don't really know what time it is right now but it's late Hopefully it ain't one o'clock. Anyway, so I'm going to work on that, going to bed at a decent time because that 
matters. So welcome to Tommy Bites TV Life. And right now I'm in the process of drinking some oolong tea, which is a great way to detox. But you probably will be needing the restroom a lot if you know what I mean. So I'm going to be drinking it now and then I'll be drinking it again in the morning and then again in the evening. But so you just you just saw me have that meal with the you know my last meal with the crab legs yada yada yada. So I'm kind of regretting that, you know, because I do have to get on the scale in the morning. Well, it is morning, but in some hours from now. So I'm gonna drink this tea and y'all know I gotta go out to these stores tomorrow and I don't wanna be running to the bathroom every, you know, 30 minutes to an hour. I'll never get anything done. Plus, I gotta work out. So I'm gonna do that and show you this oolong tea and then I will see you guys when I get up in the morning and do my way in. So technically, this is day one happy december 1st how are you guys doing this is the oolong tea that i will be taking in 100 tea bags in here i think i paid 5.49 but i just saw it today when i went into the asian store and it's gone up it's about a dollar more now so anyway i'm just opening mine up um, now, if you're just starting to detox, this is not what you want to start with. This is going to really make you go, 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 go. It's going to make you go, 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 go a oolong time. Get it? Oolong tea? Anyway, I would start off with the green tea, but me, I always do stuff different. So I'm going to start off with this one right here. I have it actually, I think it's done because i heard it beeping so i'm about to drink that hit the bed and i'll see you guys in the morning good morning good evening good afternoon so you guys i got a late start <laughs> for my day one already but i made all of my drinks last night i even made my water and i started drinking on that last night i drank some oolong tea i showed you that right before this clip so now it's day one december 1st of the 25 days of christmas weight loss journey edition so as you can see the scale is here i don't know if i'll show the scale my scale i got from my mom it actually will say out loud what my weight is i never weigh myself around people so anyway I'm doing it today. Um, I got a late start because I did not go to bed until three. And then my husband woke me up at about nine. Talked to him for about an hour. And here I am. Um, almost 11 o'clock just weighing myself. Used the bathroom two times to that oolong tea. I didn't get to take my mago. So I'm going to have to go to the GNC or someplace and get some. Because I didn't know that my husband... had already taken it so here we go i'm gonna put the phone down but you'll be able to hear it your weight is 190.4 pounds oh what uh, i'm out man that nigga's tripping so you heard that 190.4 y'all i had gotten down to 188 and then 184 so i'm at 190.4 i'm gonna write that down and we'll weigh ourselves again in seven days so i'll see you in a few minutes so y'all i just got out here to the garage it's not that bad out here it's a little cool but not as cold as as it has been but i am gonna plug this heater up i first had to move some equipment around y'all it's no reason for me to um not be working out when i have all this stuff here okay so Today, I'm going to be doing the treadmill or either the elliptical. I haven't decided yet. So, here is the fan heater right here. And it does tilt. I haven't... Let me see. I think I can just lift it up like that to make it tilt. And then just take it back down. Simple. 
Um, here's the cord. You have the ability to wrap it here. I'm about to plug it up and see how it does. Okay, so I have the heater on. I have it set on high. And y'all, when they say this thing buzzes to let you know if it's tipped over and if it stays over too long, of course, it's going to shut itself off either way. But you will have to reset it in order to um, get it to come back on. So watch what happens when even, even when I move it. Watch this. When I tell you that's loud. It's almost like a, a dryer, old school dryer. But it's very hot and I can feel it all the way on top of my treadmill. So I'm going to be doing a treadmill today and I'm about to put my sweat vest on. This is very helpful, this right here. So reason i can't get signed in so i'm just gonna do it manually and i'm gonna st well let's get to it i'm postponing y'all see what i'm doing right so i forgot to do a full body shot to show you what i'm looking like i don't know if you can make it out from there but when i put it on the scene you'll be able to see so y'all i had to squeeze into this sweat vest right here but you know it's holding it in so this is what I'm looking like. Hopefully you can make it out. Side shot, front shot, side. That was the warm-up. Now I'm on the track. I wish I could show you. Maybe when I get my other device, I'll be able to do 
um, where you can see me this way, and I can also aim it down so you can see the track that I'm walking. It shows you a visual track. So the warm-up does not count in my time that I'm going for. And I'm just going to go as long as I possibly can. This being my first workout in months, that's probably why I can't figure out how to get signed in on this Nordic track. Um, let me know in the comments if you're working out with me. Today's workout is going to be because my ankle is bothering me, but I want to give it my all. This being my first day, I actually want to shock my body. So once I walk around this track, a complete lap, and I'm trying to do four laps, um, however long it takes, I'm going to raise the level up each time. Right now I'm on three. So by the time I'm done my last lap, I should at least be at six with how my level is. But if you're working out with me, thank you. And you can do it. I can do it. We need to motivate each other. Some of my workouts will be outside, and it'll be a couple of drills that um, we used to do, have the boys do in football. I was like, whew, team mom slash coach. If the coach wasn't there, you know I didn't coach any games. But we had to know same stuff that they knew. And I'm going to send this to my son once I upload it to YouTube tonight. My videos will post at night because I want you to get a little snippet of what I'm doing, doing during the day when it comes to this. And I have to keep track of this. I definitely have to get another device. I'm almost halfway around lap one. So if you're working out with me, you're almost halfway as well. We're at four minutes of working out so far. That's not including the warm up walk that I did. So, to all of my beginners, when you haven't done it for a while, I'm a beginner again too, but I'm tired of being a beginner. So, we got about a quarter left of this track.
are at five minutes, 25 seconds into this lap. We're almost done with the first lap. If you're working out with me, if you get tired at any time, please stop. Take a breather, rest your body for at least 30 seconds. If you need a minute, take the minute and then get back to it, get you some water and all of that. Woo! Okay. Six minutes. It took us six minutes to complete the first lap. Now I got to go up a level to four. So my Nordic track is going up to level four. A little steeper. See how long it take us. I have to race the speed on this too. So you got to match. We're going to try to jog some of this out at least halfway. If you can't do it, keep walking. I'm gonna put music with this. That's why I'm talking a little loud so you can at least hear over the music. Thank you. 
off another level to five. Oh, Lord, help me. <coughs> Gotta step off for a minute. You can lose sleep, I mean, you can lose weight while sleeping if you did the right thing that day. So just like prepping your food, what you do today matters tomorrow. How I eat, how I work out, how I sleep today, tonight matters tomorrow. So I'm going to have to get it through my thick head that if I want to be successful with this, I got to put as much effort into this as I do anything else. Woohoo! We are done with lap three. We are now on lap four, our last lap. Get off, raise it up from five to six. We started at three. If you just get in here, I'm not 
raising my speed because I cannot jog anymore. If you are new to the channel, welcome to Tommy Bikes TV Life. I don't know if that name will stay the same or not, but welcome to the channel. We're doing fitness, weight loss, DIYs over here. Food shortages will be over here also, not just my main channel. Store walkthroughs will be over here also. Just not as many.
or a minute, I'm going to bump this thing up to an 8 to get my heart rate up. Let me check my heart rate. did 23 minutes okay I wish that my watch would have been working now all of a sudden it's working I'm hoping that it kicked in so it could tell me what I burnt but I have a feeling it didn't it's not even coming up I gotta make sure I charge that thing tomorrow okay guys that is it Oh, it did pick up without me doing it. It said I completed a mile. I'm going to show you guys. Right. So it did it without me doing it. It timed me at 25.28. And I keep it going now. I'm done. My circle is complete. I'm not done, but I'm done with this. Here's my total distance. My average pace. Active calories burnt, but here's the total calories. What is that? 59 calories. Average heart rate, 113. You see the time? December 1st, 25 days of Christmas weight loss edition. And we knocked that first workout out. And I did extra. So I was supposed to drink my detox drink before I worked out. I totally forgot. I'm about to go drink half of it now. Um, so you saw me put it in those jars. So I'll do half in the morning, half at night. At 6 o'clock, I will do that. And we're already behind on time because it's 105. But... Let's go get that down so we can get out of this house. If y'all don't have one of these fans, I'm encouraging you to get one in case your power goes out this winter. This will heat up a whole room. Keep the doors closed or whatever, but this will heat up a whole room. So I'm sitting here about to do a story for my other channel. And I'm now starting on my 24 hour drink for the first day i have three of these made up um i will drink half of this 
now you'll probably see me sipping on it in my other uh video because i have to get the story done and then i uh, am going to head out but if i don't get to see you later and close this out you guys stay motivated as you possibly can i know you're going to feel like you don't want to do it because i feel like i don't want to do it i wanted to get off of that treadmill i'm gonna be honest truthful to you it's not gonna be much for me to show you the first three days other than me working out and maybe sipping on my drinks because i'm not eating anything so i'll see you guys in day two of the video of the christmas weight loss journey i'm feeling a little lost for words because honestly my adrenaline is really really pumping and my brain is like in overdrive right now you guys so i'm gonna sip on this till i get half of it done and i have my water here this is 64 ounces if i'm not mistaken so i have to drink two of these in order to make it a gallon for the day um i encourage you to intake as much water as you possibly can especially when you're feeling hungry drink your water i have cucumbers mint leaf in there and that is it oh and ginger so did i put the ginger in there yeah i think i put the ginger in there also but you can't really taste it so i will see you guys in tomorrow's video take care like subscribe share the video out I love you, but God loves you more. Bye, cousins. I just heard my tea go off. Now, concerns with the drinking too much pineapple juice, you guys. I, you saw me dilute this with water. Whatever the juice I got from that one pineapple, the cucumber, and the ginger, and then the rest was water. And it made three of these jars right here it's actually refreshing it's not nasty at all try it see you guys later